Hi everyone, this is Garrett Wilkinson, a technical marketing engineer with Veritas Software. And today I would like to talk to you about protecting Nutanix AHV workloads with NetBackup 9.1. Nutanix is a leader in hyperconverged solutions, offering a single platform that integrates storage, compute, networking, and virtualization resources that provide a comprehensive view into your infrastructure. And NetBackup 9.1 provides the need for a scalable, flexible data protection solution that supports the robust requirements of a hyperconverged environment. NetBackup 9.1 enables organizations to ensure critical data and workloads running on Nutanix are protected with a single unified solution. That is the foundation for an end-to-end -end data management solution from the core to the edge to the cloud. So let's take a moment and see what is available with the new features within NetBackup 9.1. So as we see, there's a lot of new things in NetBackup 9.1. NetBackup 9.1's interface supports Nutanix AHV workloads, listing virtual machines, AHV clusters, or intelligent VM groups that further simplify and automate the backup and restore requirements for Nutanix customers. NetBackup 9.1 provides agentless support, including single file folder and recovery. This is consistent with requirements in the uh, hyperconverged environment. There's a host of additional features in NetBackup 9 that improves the resiliency of Nutanix hyperconverged environment, such as granular restore options that allow customers to select a single file or folder to restore with having to, without having to restore the whole volume, which saves time and money and disruption for uh, IT professionals. Support for application consistent backups, leveraging Nutanix guest tools to prove, provide uh, application consistent backups of virtual machines running on Nutanix. Resource throttling that automatically load balances backup jobs across the environment so no component is overloaded. And intelligent VM groups filters providing customers the ability to logically re, uh, group Nutanix VMs together for more efficient management of their backup solution. Multi-protocol support for NAS dynamic data enhanced uh, solutions that support NAS protocols, including SIFs and SMB for Nutanix files. And then support for block-based applications with support workloads using iSCSI to support Microsoft Windows environments that only support a <clears throat> block protocol. And then, of course, self-service support with rules-based access control, which is what we're going to talk about a little bit today. So let's begin with RBAC. As you can see from the NetBack interface, first off, you open the NetBackup management interface and you will see Nutanix AHV workloads in the GUI. Click on that and it will take you to the AHV virtual machines, clusters, and intelligent groups. Click on RBAC and define the roles. Click on the administrative button. Then you would define the role name and the role description. Then edit the permissions of the assets. And then you would assign the users and add to the groups. After that, NetBackup will then create the access controls for the roles. Remember, you do not uh, close this window until the configuration is complete, but it's fast, so don't worry about it too much. At this point, the roles and permissions are complete, and you can log out of the RBAC template at this point. Then that's all there is to creating RBAC for NetBackup protection.
of Nutanix AHV. Please join me next time for more of NetBackup 9.1 support for Nutanix AHV.